We're getting soaked today, ladies and gentlemen. Hey everybody, Scatterlink here. Welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we explored a lot more of Bionis Leg and getting some side quests done, such as the picture book for Pama. We got to see the end of that storyline, and we also checked out one of Ernest's other lies, but now he asked us to go put graves. And we also met these two lovely Nopon chilling here at Traveler's Rest up here on the Bionis Leg. And we got another request for a... Uh, for us to take care of with them or regarding them this time what we're going to do is we're going to uh we're gonna be fulfilling some more quests and maybe possibly if we have time making our way towards colony six uh oh there's the item we needed right there first thing first gotta take care of things uh, right off the bat, there's a climbable area down here that we can use. Hopefully we missed this. Let me just jump down here. And we can grab this. And grab the to Tokilo's egg, which we uh, needed for a quest. But also... We need to also go and explore the Windy Cave a little bit. So I guess I gotta face my fears and go down there anyhow. I'm not doing too well. Sorry, oh. I got focus. Sorry about that, fellas, but we just needed to drop down. Oh, excuse me. Which means I gotta avoid the unique monsters again. Thankfully, they all looked away, so or they're all looking away right now. Which means I can just kind of slip on by without being detective. Ain't detective? No, without being detected. Ain't that nice? Okay, you guys want to fight? Fine. We'll fight. Uh, let's go for... Let's get Ryan all fired up. Go for Heat Bullet. See if that does anything. The only reason I'd say having Heat Bullet is actually pretty good is because you could also use that to your advantage to get better chain attacks. Because uh, when the tension uh, amongst the party is good, uh, you know, that, that yields better results. All right, takes care of that. So we got that taken care of. Now we're gonna enter the Windy Cave, and this is where you're gonna want. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, this is where we're gonna want to enter in Windy Cave, and we're gonna want to walk super slowly because the Arachno there, they're crazy guys, absolutely insane, absolutely bonkers. Now, of course, I'm gonna try. If you want to make it easier on yourself, I'd say you try walking away from them. You shouldn't have any problems. Earth Cloak gems also help out a lot here, because uh, Earth Cloak uh, makes you pretty much walk, and uh, they can't hear you. Probably won't help us too much because these are level 70 enemies. But you know, that's the thing to keep in mind. There's just a single Aqua Nebula. Just chilling right there. Uh, let's see. Got some more Lancer Turkin. It's weird, guys. It's like it's a mix. It's a mix of everyone's all chill. There's like no overpowered enemies here, but there's enough for the ether deposit. Okay. Looks like we gotta fight. Just this one guy. I mean, if this is the only guy who gives trouble, then, uh, uh... We shouldn't have too much issues. Cool, we murdered... We moited him. So we got a large ether deposit to... Uh, take advantage of. Now, a good thing to keep in mind, uh... With enemies that detect you with uh, sight, if there's no color above their eye, the eye icon above their head, that means that when you walk in front of them, they won't detect you. Those guys back there, if I were to walk in front of them, they would actually detect me. Guard of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Guard of the year. Alright, well, that's a nice little distraction, but now we're going to head back through the cave. Gonna walk slowly and quietly. 
You don't want to wake the spiders. You don't want to make them angry. I mean, you can. Oh, shoot. There, there's just a... Oh, oh, okay, okay, we're fine. There's just caterpillar piles. Okay. And none of them are angry either. Which means that we can just walk in and chill. And coast. Tempest Fang, not a problem. We can come down here. Uh, let's see. We're at the bottom of the Windy Cave, and we can see that we're right under, uh, Spiral Valley. Uh, you will want to remember, uh, how you get down here, uh, in the future. Won't be the only time we go through the Path of spire Spiders. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's see. Is down here where I want to go? Okay, yes. It is. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, and the thing's right there. It's right there. Okay. Okay. I just need to play this calmly. As soon as that thing walks past, grabbing it. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You didn't see nothing, pal. You may be kissing Ryan right now, but you ain't seeing nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna walk on past because I, I really want to see. But look at the freaking size of these things, dude. They're huge. It's been years since I've done this, like, part of the game. Like, I, I did this part in all these quests, like, at the beginning of my playthrough of Definitive Edition, which I think this was, like, the second day. I got which, by the way, I was so excited for Definitive Edition, because I love Xenoblade. Um, I was really excited for this game, uh, getting the Definitive, like, remastered treatment. I was like, yeah! Heck yeah! And so I, uh... I freaking uh... Uh, oh! <gasps> Flash whips, dude. We needed these things. I completely forgot about that one guy asking for those five little things. The whips are a nighttime enemy. Oh, dang! Dang, glowing whisk fluid. Block Collins, blessed brigandy. Wow, who would have thunk it that these guys were just here this whole time? I'll say, uh, Charla freaking destroys these things. Ryan, you did it! Cool, we're getting, we're getting what we needed. Glowing Wisp Fluid, nice. Small insect leg. We do got a couple of these guys to mooch off of, so we got, we got a couple. I also think these things uh, spawn outside of the camp, so this isn't the only place where you can get them. Uh, the fluids. I mean, the more I get right now, the better, though. You know? Let's go for Metal Blast. Okay, get that taken care of. Sonic Lancer, okay. Uh, let's see. Well, we got what we needed. Is that really the only freaking... The only thing? Those wisps are freaking in there. Now it's gonna bother me. We need those fluids. You know, I thought the enemies would spawn like in the night out here. I guess they don't. Okay, now it's raining. Um. Do I take care of that now? I guess that's the question. I guess I could, but, um. You know what? 
Uh Nah, we got enough on our plate. We'll 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 be back. It's like I said, th th again, this is more of a side quest -y. Dang, Lahar. You guys, oh my god, where the heck did you guys come from? The three amigos just popped out of nowhere, just came out and said, hey, hey, how's it going, man? We, 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 we come out here. We chillin'. At least we got what we needed from the freaking uh, the thing. Got that thing all down. Wait, 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 are you talking about the oil change? I don't know why I'm having too much fun. I, I love that video so much. Anyway, Batu Bato, we got you freaking Motlu, Motlu Patlu from Nick India. Oh, you fight it for me. Now Batu Bato can give you presents to friends. Good, it was our pleasure. Charlotte, you're a medic, right? No wonder you like helping people. Yes, but that's not the only reason. I just like making people happy. Yeah, it's hot you, Hom Hom, that helped Batu Bato. Batu Bato asked friends to look for materials for own gift. Hom Hom all looked the same to Batu Bato. Freaking racist, bro. Batu Bato should look at Hom Hom faces more careful next time. And he's dead. Guys, Batu Batu is dead. Wow, he made us a spike too, Gem. What a kind man. And Gurugu. Gurugu, Gurugu need help again. Batu Batu gone again. How worrying. Charlotte, do you think there's anything we can do? Must be fate. We should really try to help out. Gurugu is scared. Batu Batu still not come back. He wants to thank you so go by himself to find present. Again, what is he playing at? Why did you take your eyes off of him? Gurugu need to watch Batu Batu every second and every day. Batu Batu, Batu always get lost and never listen to what Gurugu say. You're amazing. There aren't many like you around. We had the knob on all wrong. He was telling me about beautiful flower he wants to get. It's on top of a big waterfall. Maybe that's where Batu Batu is. Can you go find him for me? Locate Batu Batu on a high place east of Zack's guide guidepost on the Bionis leg. Thank you, Gurugu. No, you can do it. Count on us. We'll get it done. Alright, I need to take a look at the map, see where everything is. I think we want to head over in that general direction up there, which is fine, because I was actually... I was actually heading that way anyway, because there's that quest marker over there that's been bothering me this whole time. And I almost just walked straight into the immovable Gonzalez. I almost just walked straight into the lion's den. I would not... I, I wouldn't have lived, guys. That would have been the end of me. I just checked my equipment. We did get that point rifle, which sucks ass. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. We got that. That ether defense is what keep me, keeping me from playing that on, like, Sharla. Let's see. Shulk's already got that on him. Ain't worth it. Alright, now let's see... What the hubbub is all about. Over in this general direction. Uh, we do have a little bit of a... Big old thing right there. How about that? Can scratch my head. It's feeling a little bit itchy. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got that up there. I believe that's up. That path up there is where we want to go. Uh, okay. Well, that will lead us to our death. I thought that was gonna be like, whoa, that's gonna lead us to like a secret, secret path. But nope. Only place that will lead us is death. Alright, what's the freaking uh freaking uh freaking item? What's the goods? Let me let me look, look, look at my map again. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Okay. Alright, I get ya. I get, I get what you're throwing down. I get what you're putting up. I understand completely. 
Alright, well... There is a way up there. Question is, do I remember? Does he remember? Does he know? Actually, you know what? I'm an idiot. It's probably gonna take us to where that other uh, explanation point was. Okay, I thought I was gonna get dragged away by the current, but nah. It's because I'm not swimming. If I was swimming, then it probably would drag me away. But it's not. That's nice. Got the white ladybird. We'll do... Collectopedia stuff whenever we actually move on to Colony 6, which... Might be next episode, might not be. Who knows? Maybe at like the end of this episode we'll do it. I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. Let me look at the map. Okay, the, the point of interest for the quest is right over here. Oh, it's a unique monster. Okay. Okay, I was wondering what the heck the dealio was. Oh my god, his minions. Uh, let's go, everyone. I think that's for initiating... Uh... Oh my god, his minions. I did not mean to cast a heal bullet. Or heal round, I should say. I did not mean to do that. That was a mistake on my end, fellas. Oh, we're doing pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, that is something completely new. Uh, Turkins are kind of unique because they can actually do chain attacks on you, and that's pretty bad. We don't like that. Now was Ryan time. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, here we go. They're doing a chain attack. But they missed because we are just too dang powerful. That's the power of tension for you. They can't even. They haven't even touched us once. Oh, okay, I know we're overpowered, but. Jeez. I think it really just clicked just how overpowered we are. Alright, that takes care of that. Shulk's now level 23, which is nice. Ryan might hit that milestone soon. Alright, let's see. Turgon Crest, Speed Boost, and Chain Gauntlets. Someone learned a new art. It was Shulk. Sure learned a new art. Oh, cool. Uh, Shaker Edge. Uh, which will slash at the enemy inflicting daze. So now Shulk can actually daze an enemy after he topples them. Which is nice. Okay. This is where we wanted to go. This is what we wanted. This is good. The good stuff. Here I was thinking I had to find like a secret path or something like that. Nope, I just had to use my noggin. Well, that, that unique monster was perfectly placed then, because now I have a unique way of, uh, not a unique way, but I have a convenient way of making my way over here. Man, it sure is raining a lot. It's a lot of rain. It's a lot of rain. Hey, our boy. Our boy. Batu Batu. Batu Batu come to get flower called Eater Wisdom. But there are lots of monsters just now, so I could not go. Batu Batu wants to give you thank you present, but no can do. I know you get flower for me. Batu Batu need present to thank friend. Okay, pal. We'll go get you your flower. We'll go ahead and do that. Just for you, buddy. Just for you. Because you're a friend. That's what friends are for. Friends help each other through thick and thin. Through all sorts of stuff. Let me kill these guys. Because they're in the way. These things deserve to die. Stream edge! I've been playing a Charlotte a lot. I think I mentioned that in the last video, but yeah. I've been playing as Sharla a lot. I think that's a bad thing. I just haven't bothered switching. Because you know this is like Sharla's area. Well, it, the, her time will be up soon, guys. I make it sound like she's gonna die soon. 
Nah. Some quark armor. Whatevs. Uh... There's a... Oh, that's the thing we need to check out. Okay. Okay, yeah. Alright. That's the grave. The grave was right there. Okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go check out the grave. But we want to head through here because... If we do... We may see something cool and awesome. How about that? Big empty room with nobody around? Man. Devious gravy? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I like saying, oh, man. Anyway, if I recall, if we walk out here, we should get something pretty cool. Yeah, a secret area. These places uh, are secret locations they can find throughout the land of Bionis. Uh, heart to heart, we can't view. Uh, very worth the time to go out of your way and find them. And we did get an achievement for finding them too. And they give a lot of experience. A lot of experience. And we got that ether wisdom that we needed. And you can also teleport there too. So that's like a convenient teleport place. So yeah, very worth your time. Got like a whole level up from that. Very good. And someone got a new art. Uh, Ryan did. What's new, Ryan? Uh, last stand. Or that revives the user once before they are inca incapacitated. Um. Not too terribly bad. Although I kind of like the lineup we got going on right now. Alright, we're gonna go see Batu Batu. Give him the flower. And then we'll also hop down to the grave, guys. To the grave. Hell yeah. Uh, well, I'll definitely be trying my best to go after as many secret areas as I can. I can't guarantee we'll get all of them. But we will definitely be uh, uh, getting as many as we can for sure. Because we will be exploring a lot. In fact, I think there's actually another one that we can get right now, but I'm going to save that for a little bit later, because we are kind of cluttered with everything uh, that we've got going on right now. Catch my meaning. Catch my drift. Is our little buddy not here? Did he decide to go back? Okay, yeah, he went back. Okay, so if that's the case, then I'm a hop down. I should not have done that. That was a big old mistake. That'll be the full that'll be the only L I'm ever taking. Okay, uh Alright, let's head back to Spiral Valley. I, I I almost did it again! I almost walked right in front of the movable Gonzalez's face. Why would I do such a thing? I don't know. Good thing at least is that the Turkins won't bother us anymore. That's always nice, right? Turkins won't bother us. Uh, I might actually try jumping down there just for the heck of it. Because uh, I do want to see if I can kill more of those wisps. By the way, Montu Potlu over there freaking should have a reward ready for us. And you know what? I, I don't mind doing all these quests because we get to hear the, the freaking uh, Gar Plains music all day every day, which is one of my favorite, probably my favorite track in the game. This ether wisdom, such beautiful flower. Batu Batu will be so happy. Batu Batu uses to thank friends. Good, it was our pleasure. Right, it was well worth the effort. Huh, you already helped Batu Batu, but Batu Batu bad not on. Batu Batu just want to give you thank you present. But now Batu Batu know that he just caused trouble for you. Next time Batu Batu tell Gurugu before going anywhere. I cannot get flowers, so found other presents as well. This present for helping Batu Batu, thank you so much. At the Grand Gear and Electric Plus 3. And that's it for these guys. That's their story. Isn't it beautiful, guys? I got a tear in my eye. I'm about to cry. I'm about to go wham. 
Oh, let me check that. This grand gear. Uh, that's alright for Ryan. Alright for Shulk, too. Who gets the better benefits, though? I think Ryan does. So, Ryan, you can wear that. And I'll replace that agility of one, up one with agility up two. Alright, so now we're gonna go check out that grave for Ernest. And that will probably be the last thing we take care of for Bionis Leg. Yeah, we're pretty much done. We've taken care of everything I want to take care of. Which is nice. So we're gonna go check out the grave. Which would be nice. I might take care of that wisp too. I might cut away and do that, but we'll wait on that. We'll hold. I don't know if I jump down, that'll kill me or not. It's the only thing. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out in a second. If it does kill me, then I'll cut out my journey down there and I'll take care of that. The flower. The flyers. And try to get my goods. I do want to come over here because I think this is a location uh, that we can grab for ourselves. It should be. Got a rusty bolt. Lots of item orders to grab though, too. Man, it, if we got 100% Collectopedia from this, then uh, from all this questing around and all that stuff, well then holy crap. Uh, that's pretty good. I, I'd be pretty proud of myself. I'm gonna be real. Pretty freaking proud. Also, it's, good, it's a good way to show us how far we've gone, you know? You know, we're still in, like, the early parts of the game, like, you know, we've explored, we've really seen what this game is capable of, you know? I don't know why I'm sounding super reflective, even though it's, like, what, episode 14 right now? I need to chill. I need to cool my jets. Anyway, yeah, here's the grave we're just talking about. It's Ernest's friend's grave. Let's place the flowers. What's happening? It's the one that killed his friend. Oh my lord! The arrogant Turkin, level 19. Alright. Caught a soft guard, but don't worry. We can take this guy. He ain't too much trouble. Let's freaking, uh. Get Ryan up and running. Good, cool off. Go for another Thunderbullet. Uh, let's help Ryan out here. Alright. Bam. Bam. There we go. So, got that. And that takes care of that. And before we go back and talk to Ernest, I, I, I need to know. I need to know. I'm not doing too well. So I can live. Okay. Now that I know that, let's go ahead and change it to nighttime. Let's kill these Flash Wisps. Although I can get the rest of the, the fluid that I needed. Good thing I'm here. No, anybody? Right, let's do that. What bam and what bam? Will this do it? Nope. It's all right. We got a couple more to kill. We just need one more, and then I think we'll be truly done with everything that we can do. Now, I know there was a quest marker over in an area we hadn't explored yet, but I'm going to save that. Like I said, that's the thing I was saving for later. In due time, though. In due time. Alright. Gonna kill you. Can I get, like... 
Can I get what I need, guys? Please, game, can you give me what I need? Shoot, maybe we won't go to Colony 6 yet. Alright. Shoot you. Can I get a silver chest, please? Please, please give me. I need this, guys. Game, I need this. Seriously. I didn't get what I needed. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. There's another quest icon? Uh... What's over here? Oh, Flash Wisps. There's just a guy chilling here. I don't like how close he is to the... The enemies. But... Here goes, maybe he's the one. He was not the one, guys. He was not the one. Well, let's hop back down and try again. Got the fluid. Okay. Cool. I was quiet there for a moment because I thought I was going to have to cut away. But I didn't have to. Alright, let's go talk to Ernest. Oh, I thought it was raining again. I know it is. Why is it raining all the time, dude? It ain't making sense. It ain't making no sense at all. Alright, Ernest, we did it. So a monster rush, Joe, when you put the flowers down? I knew he'd be there if they take him down. I can't take you now if it's finally over. Someone lied to me and my friend that there were crystals there. We went, but there was nothing. Then on the way back, we were jumped by a turkin. My friend died to protect me. It still gives me nightmares. I've been able to trust anyone since. But he trusted me and went to put the flowers on his grave. He even got revenge for my friend. Thanks, I really mean it. Good, it was our pleasure. Charlie, you're a medic, right? No wonder you like helping people. Yes, but that's not the only reason. I just like pe making people happy. It's a little something for me and him. Woody, got the grand boots. Level 24 for Shulk. Nice. That is just about where I want to be. Especially with what's coming up. But now we got that wisp fluid. Uh, to do. Not to do, but like, uh... To deliver. Oh my god, I've got the hiccups. Jeez. That wisp fluid to deliver to Olga here. Well. Collected them all? Thank you so much. Oh, I haven't told you what remedy I'm going to make. I'll use the ingredients to make a potent anti-insomnia remedy. All there is to do is to get Gorman his medicine. Good, it was our pleasure. Yeah, it feels good. Do a good deed. Do good out there, you lot. Yeah, my thanks. Give me that. Now Ryan's level 24. Nice. And that is everything. Every quest I want to take care of here on Bionis Leg for the time being. How we doing on... Really? Still hasn't changed at all. Interesting. Interesting. That definitely puts a dower on things or plans. But I know what I can do. We're gonna head back to Kali 9 real quick. Because now that Shulk and Ryan are at pretty good affinity with each other. Uh... I think there's fun to be had. I don't think there's anything new for us to take care of here. Uh... Not until later. But... There's one thing we can do. So we can talk to good old... Hey, come back here. Uh... Paola. Everyone wants me to do what? Take a look at the two boys? Why would she ask that? Oh, I get it. Check to see how good their friendship is. Hey, it's totally improved. Shulk and Ryan are looking much more like real best friends now. I'm so jealous. I wish me and Irene were like that. 
But I guess boys are different. Can girls be best friends like that? But they can't, you know. We think otherwise, prove it. Ooh. Now raise the, raise the affinity between two female party members considerably and then talk to Paola. Dang. Wait, spoiled. There's going to be more than one girl in the party game. Jeez. I got to do that to us. All right, let's head back to Spiral Valley. So now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to... And look at look at how we, we, we cleaned house, guys. We'll definitely be back to do some more exploration. Because there's definitely more we haven't seen yet. So we'll definitely be back. Don't you worry. In fact, I'll save that one quest marker for a particular time. Uh, not too far in the distant future. A little bit of ways away, but nothing that we can't handle. You know? So we'll do some more exploration uh, in the future. Because right now, we're just going to head over to Colony 6. And we'll leave off on that. Got this nice little pond with the waterfall of God right here, you know. Every place gotta have a waterfall of God. Cause we love Jesus. Jesus. Cause Sharpa Falls. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to grab that location. Fill in the map, you know. Makes you feel good. And also free experience, you know. I'm saying you know a lot. Who am I? Freaking beat from freaking The World Ends With You? Even though I never played that game. Heard it's good. Uh, definitely... Mm, I'd be lying if I say if it was on my immediate to playlist, but like, if I find a copy... Uh, you know, I, I'll definitely indulge if it's at a good price. But, uh... I don't know, I only know it, those characters, because uh, Kingdom Hearts stream drop distance. That's the only reason I know those characters. And so Beat was always saying, like, you know. You know. But, alright. So, wow, we did, uh, we did just about everything I wanted to take care of here at the refugee camp at Bionis Leg. We explored a hell of a lot. It really shows... Just how big this game is. Like I said, I know I kind of jumped on that gun already, but like, it, it really shows just how many, like we spent like three videos doing side questy stuff and we're just barely making it to Colony 6. It was worth it though. We're pretty powerful now. Got the Bass Cave Passage. And now, we're gonna head on forward. It's Colony 6. It's like a fortress. Did people really live here? So much has changed. It's only been a month. We'll find Juju and then smash some metal. Wait! We can't just rush in. We could enter through the mine. Mine? There's a massive ether deposit under the colony. The first settlers here built right on top of the mine. That's how we got our colony. The mine is like a network of tunnels. It's much more complicated than the colony streets. They can't have figured it all out in the space of a month. So... She means it's the best route if we want to remain unseen. You're catching on. Great. So how do we get in? Through the drainage outlet. It's just up ahead. So if I have made it to Colony 6, and there's a little bit to explore, we're going to save it for next time. 
I want to take a look at all our stuff, make sure we're in tip-top shape. Looking good, looking good, looking great. Looking awesome, baby. Uh, oh, speed boots would do good for Sharla. We'll put those on her. Uh, Ryan, how you how how you looking, buddy? How you looking? Uh, not nothing really changing here. Not seeing enough movement. Uh, got the hunter boots on Ryan, but the grand boots also do a pretty good job, so I think I'll put those on him. Goodbye agility too. Um, Shulk, if you need anything, any changes? Plus two weight, but good, good stuff. Can't complain about that. All right, we're pretty good. I think I'm a, I'm a switch back to Shulk as the party leader. We've had our fun. All right. Uh, is that everything I want to do? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll we'll, we'll mess around with some arts. Uh, we're probably gonna be finding some mech on soon, so I figure. Um, uh, well, I want to get shield up first. Uh. I think everything else is pretty good. Uh, let's get uh, let's get Shaker Edge up a little bit, and yeah, sure, level up Light Heal to the max. Ryan, I want Sword Drive up and maxed out because Sword Drive is awesome. Can't complain about that. And Charla, you have a lot of points. Uh, I probably want to get you on heals, Heal Bullet, Heal Blast, get you up, Snuff, and yeah, sure, Heal Bullet again. Why not? All right. All right. Well, there's definitely a little bit to explore here in Colony 6. And now we know our next destination, uh, which is making it... Making our way down to the mines, which is all the way down there. Looks like we still got a road ahead of us. So that being said, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we're going to be exploring what Colony 6 has to offer in the little areas that we can explore and making our way down to the mines. See you guys then.